Good afternoon folks, this is Bob from BBD on this 8th of September. A mixed bunch of news, I'm going to stay away from China today, uh, I've done I guess enough of it for the time being. The first new, uh, item I read in the, the Financial Times from UK says Iran looks to China as US sanctioned bite. Beijing offers counterweight to European ties and stays out of Tehran's domestic affairs. And almost every rogue element out there is going to, I know China is going to go after because, you know, uh, anybody who doesn't want their internal affairs to be uh, become, uh, come into public view, they always allow China. China takes a pound of flesh in the bargain. But, you know, this is a, this is a, a, a very difficult relationship. You know, China doesn't know what it's getting into and neither does it does it run but as you can see india also is upping its game as far as it runs concerned india iran explore regional stability amid u.s plans to exit afghanistan hatimi hopes india will be impartial while dealing with global issues at unsc well hatimi might hope so wish so but then we also expect that he himself is impartial when it comes to issues like kashmir and his and his uh, and his uh, ayatollah does the same just do remember when we think about iran and we try and get this civilizational connect that you know at the end of the day it's a brutal civilizational connect there's really i mean there has been a lot of cultural elements in india but at this point of time iran needs us equally if not more than we need them oil is no longer a a play because India has surplus supplies the United States opened up Iraq doing its bit Saudi Arabia pumping in so Iran may not be it may not be holding that pole position with the relationship it used to in the past let's play it with real politics with with our interests in mind and forget about this civilizational connects for for once okay as and obviously uh, not only did Rajnath go obviously something is is happening there as Jay Shankar also had Taliban on my Jay Shankar to halt in Tehran on his way to Moscow. Officials said the stop was a technical halt, mainly for refueling, but Jay Shankar will meet his counterpart Javed Zarif. India is clearly reaching out to Iran in the context of a couple of developments, the most important which is the prospect of the Taliban regaining their dominant position in Afghanistan and what that would mean for regional security and international terrorism. It is going to be traumatic for India. India has to be ready. Okay. Then a fairly old article of January 7th which said after Russia protests MOD to take call and on 2.5 billion dollar deal. So as like I said, Russia always has held a gun to our head, uh, to our head as far as defense supplies were concerned. So to look at them through rose tinted eyes of what, ha what happened in 1971 to counter uh, uh, the USS air aircraft carrier that came to the Bay of Bengal now is a story that's lived its sell-by date. One should not forget it and move on. Interesting news amid CPEC corruption row, she puts off Pakistan trip, cites COVID-19. Apparently, the, the general that was appointed, Lieutenant General Asim Bajwa, uh, to head CPEC has now got hit with corruption. You know, this is going to happen. You can't change Pakistani society just like you can't change in Indian society. It is corrupt as hell, right? especially the generals. Right? And with a name like Bajwa, obviously knowing our, uh, our cultural uh, uh, family uh, ties, uh, not family ties, our uh, cultural and family connects in India, Bajwa has to be related to, to the chief. So there is something there, right? There's another article uh, in, 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 in Financial Times that said U.S. considers action against China's biggest maker of semiconductors. Trump administration's blacklist includes more than 300 China. So this will actually be a huge blow. If this is blacklisted, then if you remember some days ago, I'd mentioned in the Wall Street Journal article saying that the, uh, the, the uh, uh, machine manufacturers for chips in Japan are going to enjoy a about a huge uh, uptake in sales because China is going to step up capacity that will die a natural death with sanctions those Japanese companies will not be able to supply those machines I think this is a move that is absolutely critical at this stage for the United States then you have depressing India passes Brazil on somber Sunday we become number two 
well, we can't get the gold in, in, in Olympics, but may, we are headed that way as far as this is concerned. And I think oh, come October, we probably will beat the United States. A distressing article here by uh, Yam Yamini Ayer, which says, Grand bargain to great betrayal. With goods and service tax dispute, the future of India's fiscal federalism is at stake. And this may absolutely be right. Circumstances, situations, as far as COVID is concerned, is all well and good. But this is a serious letdown of the states by the center, especially after promises that were made by the previous finance minister, Arun Jaitley. And I think it's just not fair. Not go holding good. Just like this article is also not gold holding good and uh, 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 good for us, is one by Pavan K. Verma. For democracy's sake, don't scrap question hour. The argument that question hour can be substituted by zero hour or by special leave mentioned is fallacious. Both are usually about urgent but localized issues and do not allow for the range of interrogation that a question hour does. And I, I don't know why this government wants to run. It has to be transparent at this point in time. There are three major issues facing us. The economy, China, and COVID. I'm not sure that they're, they're not getting their hand or, hand or grip on any of those three effectively. And a lot of it may be because they're not being able to pull in all the brain power from across the spectrum, including the opposition. And that'll be a shame. That is a shame, it's not really be a shame. Here we have a, a, a depressing opinion in uh, not about India, but India also has to be very, very, very careful. Uh, uh, in the uh, New York Times, which says the Supreme Court's starring role in democracy's demise. So basically, apparently, the Supreme Court in the United States has, with a number of actions or inactions, according to this, this, this Carol Anderson has starred in what she calls democracy's demise. So it is critical in our case too, for our Supreme Court, to ensure that they are, they have, they are critical for our democracy. They need to continue or maintain their independence in decision making. Otherwise, we all will lose faith. Very interesting article that I would say that, you know, anybody who brings up and says COVID is responsible for our, for our economic demise. There is one, strangely, I had an article that I had cut out on 9th of December way before COVID hit, it says Rajan's fix for ailing economy. And he says very interestingly, Rajan says the starting point for tackling India's economic slowdown has to be to recognize the magnitude of the problem, to not brand every internal and external critic as politically motivated, and to stop believing that the problem is temporary and that suppressing bad news and inconvenient surveys will make it go away. Well. The hens have come home to roost, ladies and gentlemen. Decentral, if the, 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 the uh, remedies he gave was, one was decentralization, one was finance and in, uh, infrastructure was to be sorted out. Rajan points out that construction, real estate and infrastructure sectors are in deep trouble, and they are. Telecom, finally the telecom sector he feels deserves a special attention, which it never got. And reforms really needed to be upped and disinvestment government should withdraw where possible. These were all set on 9th of December, folks. We are now sitting in September, a year gone by. Amit Ra and, uh, and the finance minister of West Bengal rightly says, lack of stimulus has hurt economy, Mitra, right? And just say, <laughs> yesterday's Raghuram Rajan had another editorial. What does he say? The alarm in the numbers. GOI's plan to conserve resources for a future stimulus is self-defeating. India needs relief now. The 23.9% contraction in India is the worst ever. Yet India is even worse off than these com comparisons suggest. The pandemic is still raging in India. <laughs> so discretionary spending, especially on high contract services like restaurants and the associate employment will stay low and until the virus is contained. <coughs> then he says relief is needed now. Brazil which has spent tremendously on relief is seeing a much lower downgrade to medium term growth than India. So government officials who hold out the possibility of a stimulus when India finally continues 
contains the virus are underestimating the damage from a more shrunken and scarred economy at the point. Instead of claiming there is a V-shaped recovery around the corner, they should wonder why the US, despite spending over 20% of GDP in fiscal and credit ref relief measures, is still worried the economy will not return to pre-pandemic GDP levels. India needs strong growth, not just to satisfy the aspiration of our youth, but to keep our unfriendly neighbors at bay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now. And then some really quick news that, that, that caught my eye. Samsung wins 6.6 .6 billion 5G Verizon deal while Huawei struggles. First nail in the coffin for Huawei. Uh, rightly says, somebody say, uh, 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 forget the stimulus, just clear your dues, says the MSMEs. <clears throat> Another institute takes a knock. Unease about rankings. U UP star performance raises questions. I know, with the kind, I mean, this is, you can keep doing anything on the paper. If you don't improve the ground situation, the other, uh, today there are two reports about the rape of a Dalit, about lynchings. I'm not sure you're going to get any FDI. You can keep doing any paperwork, but this is another institution has bitten the dust, right? Now, I am not going to really believe uh, anybody who talks about the, the, the grading of states. A, a, a thing for us to note, a glass shortage as ba uh, Beirut rebuilds. Let our infrastructure companies get into play. A lot of money is going to be pump, being pumped into Lebanon. We should be part of that restructuring to get an economic uh, boost for our domestic companies. Then another one, Ottawa to extend small business rent relief resources, uh, sources say. They are extending small, small, uh, extending small business rent relief. I India has not even started that yet. Shameful. Interesting shortages. Vaccines fuel scramble for freezers. Do we know that with the kind of vaccines that are going to be required? I, India probably does have the necessary uh, supply chains to do that. But this is an issue that is going to grabbing the headlines with so much vaccination. Is there the logistics cold chain to supply those vaccines? Amazing. SoftBank also seems to be in play for TikTok. SoftBank eyes partners to bid for TikTok India. I think the ideal partner for SoftBank in India is probably going to be Reliance. Let, let them take a leap of faith here. Uh, another report, Harley may ride with Hero Motors for Indian Ops. I think this will be really good for Hero, but even better for Harley. They should go for this immediately. Then you have Bharat Biotech keen to revive 600 crore TN vaccine company. Revive it is going to be needed. The capacity is going to be needed. Right time to revive it and right time to revive it and sell it. Prime Minister says decision on supply chains to be based on trust. Show sure, they have to trust us. That is the whole thing. They have to trust us that we, that we will deliver on the ground, folks. We need to improve the ease of doing business. Really improve the ease of doing business. In a small article, Reliance Retail and Talk to sell 7,500 crore stake to Silver Lake. Reliance has got it right. Monetize all their assets, get the funds in, reduce the debts. Fantastic. Then you have Piyush Goel say India can engage with other countries and build a platform to, pro to promote business. Entrepreneurs will change the fortune of India, create jobs, bring prosperity. Again, tying in with, with what, what the Prime Minister said, you really need to lay a red carpet, but that means improve the ease of doing business. Good afternoon, folks.